All right, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Stellaris. Now, uh, before we start, um, you may notice the screen is a little bit, well, the picture, I suppose, a bit small for you, and that's because I'm now playing on a 2K monitor. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit of an experimentation because um, I did a little tester of recording a different game. One recording it in 1080p, one recorded it in 2K, which is the monitor I have. It's a 2K monitor. Um, and I'm seeing what the picture quality is like, because on the other game, the picture quality didn't stretch or anything. It was it was fine, but recording in 2K was a much bigger strain on my computer and takes a hell of a lot longer to render uh, videos, because I have to render it back to 1080p. Um, so yeah, without further ado, so I'm recording this one in 1080. Wow, I, I really uh, created a lot of random races since last time. Also, another thing I might do is upscale the UI a little bit to, because uh, this monitor is massive and the writing looks tiny in comparison, it's mad. I mean, like the bit that says like loading at the bottom there, that's that's all well and good, but like the numbers and everything, they're kind of hard to read. I have to put my face right to the glass. Okay, so quick, uh, just reminding myself of where we left off. I'm pretty sure there was another, yeah, another empire right here. They are weak, but, and here's the but, I take them on. However, I don't have what it takes to destroy a starport. They don't have a starport. Is this my vassal? I know I have a vassal. Are these my... No. No, they're not. They're not very friendly with us. Actually, they're not unfriendly. They are inferior massively. They are wary of us. Yeah, I mean, we could take these guys. Really, we could take them. Let's minimize that. Observation A plus, we'll keep that up. Hmm, now I'm thinking now. Should we attack them? I did have a vassal somewhere. Where was they? I'm sure is yes I, I do I do have a vassal yes and they are also inferior but not as inferior as them guys so I could go to war with them and vassalize them but issue number two is I don't actually have any uh, armies do I? Mind you it may not cost me all much war score because they're so weak I might just be able to get away with bombarding the planet. That said I don't know if they have or have not got a spaceport I can't see into the system. There is a point. That's a very good point. I need to be able to see into the system to see if they've got a spaceport. I'd assume they would have to be honest. your objective oh yeah just oh yeah do I have two science ships I do yeah so what if I put my construction ship on them so it two is my navy freeze the science ship four is my science ship five would be my construction ship right of course there's little icons at the bottom Okay, um, yeah, now I'm not too sure what to do about these guys. I want to attack them, but I have no way of seeing what they have. I think I'll have to wait until I get friendly with them. I'll try and block them off somehow. And if I remember rightly, I was using Yes, that was it. I was using one ship to explore, the other one to do the anomalies. 
That was what I was doing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right, okay, well, let's resume anyway. Um, 22 out of 31. We could get a lot more ships. A lot more ships. So we are best waiting into that said, have we got the technology to build a destroyer? No, we're getting it. We're not far off. We're getting quite far off actually. Oh, they're doing void cloud observation. Cool. Okay. Um in which case I may as well build a load more of these. There we go. So we can have a nice uh, fleet expanding. Oh. Yeah, fleet's already sorry to your first size. He says it's not. So, uh, let's have a look here. Okay, we've got the Corvette assembly things there anyway, so they should build quite quickly. See, look at that, it's only got a week left before our first one's finished. We did use up a lot of our resources doing that, though. This one that has a totally different species on it. Oh crap. Oh, failure it must have been. I should have read that. I assumed it was a new alien species, but no. No, no, this has got our people on it. Well, I'm clearly cool confused. Basically what I'm looking for now is to kind of encircle these guys so they cannot spread much further than this. That is the hope and the desire. So to do that I'm going to start exploring these stars and looking for colonizable planets. If not, I'll have to start building um, frontier outposts. But at the minute I'll finish exploring these two systems first. Oh, oh right, okay, I must have gone boop boop boop. Construction complete. Oh, hello. So that planet's finished its planet side, planet side constructions. Special project complete. Okay. If I close a store of the cosmos. Once a Therian astronomer, astron astronomers <laughs> knew what it looked, knew what to look for. Okay, I'm just gonna because my reading sucks. I need to really um, expand the UI. I think is the way past that. A stud watch of the stars and young planets formed. Now they drift. Okay. So basically, we think they're watchers of the galaxy kind of things. Anomaly found. Oh, yay. What's this? Sensor echoes have been indica yeah, indicated the presence of some kind of unidentified object deep within the atmosphere of this gas giant. Leave it for now and I shall get... Wait, what was that? An anomaly message should have popped up. Assuming it was you that discovered it. Oh, 
Muchas gracias. Oh, yeah, my ghost ship. What is this? Swirling shadows. Immense ragged planes of shadow drift across that planet's face. <laughs> they are caused not by clouds but by sheets of organic material drifting through the upper layers of the atmosphere, hinged or rather joint to allow a small degree of articulation. Okay. See, it's been so long since I played it. I'm, I'm very, I'm unaware of what I've discovered. My little ghost ship. Look at it tooting along. Anyway, let's leave that to discover all we can. Construction complete. So how's our fleet coming along? Uh, currently have 27 ships, it's at 1095 strength, so that's fairly decent strength. And I believe we've still got more to build. Let's have a look. How many more? Ah, oh, not too many more. Another four to build. Well, three. No. <laughs> And then I might focus on getting some armies actually. How much money have we got? I think we'll probably just get a load of assault armies. I think you can hold 12 on a planet, so. Oh, look, how many does that leave us with? That's 12, yeah. There we go. So we've got armies trending up now. Which is a noise. So technically, we we built ourselves an invasion force on the capital world. At last, we will reveal ourselves to the whatever they're called. Let's have a look. United Morphix Hive. At last, we will reveal ourselves to the United Morphix Hive. At last, we will have revenge. <laughs> Doesn't quite go, does it? No. Anyway, let's see what else. Yeah, so our religion and our xenophobia, xenophilia, should I say. We want these part of our uh, culture, but they will not like us at all because of this trait here. They're materialist, which is opposite to our uh, spiritualist. So that's going to be a pain in the ass, but at least both traits don't contradict ours. These guys are ugly as sin, but we will get them on our side. In fact, as soon as my ship construction is finished, I'm going to declare war. And that may not be wise. Nope, may not. But I think it's about time we had some action. We're a few parts in now, and well, we've done nothing. As soon as the next ship's complete, we're going to jump to this star here, and then we're going to scout. We'll jump up. Construction complete. If they have like um, a spaceport, though, we may be able to deal with it. Have I got a number on our fleet. I have. He's not very good. Research complete. Sweet. What research was that? Colonial colonization. And what's pretty Oh cool, sweet. So we have the ability to build better hubs. Form Federation, we could do that, that'd be good. Psy Warriors, ooh, interesting. We could go for Psy Technology or Federation Technology, what are you? You are a genius, so it doesn't matter what I pick. 
I've got for Farm Federation for now. If we can be the leader of a federation, that'd be smashing. There's a planet though we could actually colonise. Solar Sailor. Oh, that's the advanced ship we've discovered, but it has sails for some reason. We have discovered an abandoned solar sail ship in orbit around Ambizia. Ambizia 1. <laughs> the sublight vessel was built by an unknown culture and appears to be several thousand years old. One of the massive sails has a large tur or some kind of object passed through, most likely a meteoroid which appears to have disabled the vessel, <laughs> although the technology of the ship is severely uh, outdated. It does possess some interesting engineering design choices. So we should get a bit of engineering from that. Uh, what planet is it here that we may be able to colonise? 17 it is an arctic world and there's a tomb world but we can't colonize that for sure we could do that we could get this arctic world you know i, I won't for now we'll leave it be oh we've got an election coming up by the looks of it so who have we got lee c is an inventor and space miner and orbital researcher is the goal. You'd think it'd be orbital uh, mines, wouldn't it, really? We've got Boab, who is a. System survey complete. Fertility preacher. Weird. <laughs> have children, have them now. And space miner again. So everybody looks like they're a space miner. Oh, home in the sky. What does this give us? Nice, okay. Should we support him? Yeah, go on. Support him. By supporting him, it's not a guarantee that they can win, but uh, I think we'll wait till after our election and then probably push forward to conflict. That way we can blame, you know, events of war upon one person. Oh. So let's minimise the army tab for a moment. Let's see if we can cheekily sneak into their system. Oh we can! Supi has been elected as revered elder of the Afari Covenant. We didn't have any elect, did we? Ah, you know, whatever. We have elected Supi previous governor of Rontus Prime. So apparently we can actually have a quick nausea at their system. Gas giant ship. Active scans. Da, da, da. Situation log updated. So they have quite a decent fleet actually. 34 corvettes. Because we have 31 but a higher score. So their corvettes are very basic. It's a space station. Space station? That's going to be the problem here. It is these guys I'm thinking of, isn't it? Yeah, we've got closed borders with them. 
They don't have it with us, oddly enough. So let's jump back here. And go here. What was the task we wanted to do? Is it timed? No, it's not. So I'll ask him to come back and research that project. While our other ship continues to uh, survey these worlds. In fact, this is the last one for him to survey. <laughs> Excuse me. I think it's time. It is time, ladies and gentlemen, for us to declare war against somebody who is inferior to us. We're cruel, it, it is mean, but we need vassals, and this is the best way to do it at this moment in time. Oh, it, it appeared down here. I'm used to it popping up at the top. Okay, can we vassalize open borders, humiliate, see planet, liberate planet, establish as protectorate, we can do that, make tributate, we'll establish them as a protectorate, bam, so for that we need only 82 war scars, it's quite a lot actually, if they want to humiliate them, another 10, so 92. Basically, we, we have to invade. We have no choice but to uh, land and invade their planets. So first things first, let's fly our ships across and hope their ships come out to meet us. If I was to turn you to evading hostile no, fleet, no, not that, not that. I want them to come out to us, which it doesn't appear they're gonna do, to be honest. Oh, it does, it does. We've, we've got. I can't tell what they're trying to do. They're back and forth. So we discovered a new civilization. Oh, let's have a look here. What age are they in? Iron Age. So we could, can we? We cannot, because we. Let's build one of them there so we can observe these people. Come on out. Come on out and take us on. Okay. Well, you're not going to come take us on. We will fly around and attack your stations. Oh, particularly the warp station. That would be a smashing idea. Let's get rid of that and they can't travel out. See, we can get to their warp station without encountering, without encountering this mining station here. They're struggling. <laughs> they're all over the show. Oh, their fleet has actually grown. Oh dear. I still think our ships are more advanced, though. 
So on that count we should be okay. Speaking of which, so what, what do our ships actually have? 